There was a question about how to set up profile sections like this in Skillshare if you are a Skillshare teacher. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So you go to your profile page and then you will go to edit profile and from there it's going to look pretty much the exact same. So and it's not very intuitive. Um, you know you have add more content here but then if you scroll down, so I have a lot going on here, so yours won't look like this, but at the very bottom, you will see, um, where is it, where is it? You'll see add section. So this is what you're looking for. You're gonna say add section, and then you have the option to add content section, projects, teaching, discussions. You're gonna wanna select teaching if you wanna bundle your classes. From here, it's at the bottom, and you're gonna want it to go up um, above whatever is at the bottom of your stuff or maybe you don't have that and you just it's good where it is but um, I'm going to move this up so I pressed that arrow and you see it jumped up here so this top arrow it's really really small I'm gonna press it up again and then it's below my classes here so let's say I want to drag it even higher you can reorder like this too where did it go <laughs> there we go um, so I have it sandwiched right now in between software and entrepreneurship. So let's say I want it to go up higher. Oh, there it is, up higher. And this is, I mean, this is what we have to do. Okay, so let's say I want to go new classes as a topic. And then all you need to do is just drag, because you should have all your classes under one um, section anyway they just won't be ordered. So this is how you can order them and you just drag them over and then they're going to show up in those new or in the new category basically. And that's all you do. And then you can rearrange your classes like that and you can also scoot them to rearrange them. Um, sometimes I'll go in and I'll actually like move some around because I find that it helps, you know, if people visit my profile a few times a couple months ago and then they revisit it, it might prompt um, them to want to take a different class. So I just move stuff and then they see them, you know, differently. So that's an option that you can do um, and that's, that's it. And then you'll say save and exit. I'm going to get rid of that because I don't want that section. Um, but you can add, you know, where it says add more content here, that's going to be above your teaching area or your class area. Um, you can add, you know, images, which are like these. You can add video. I think you already probably see that easily. But yeah, so to actually organize the classes themselves, you'll go to the very bottom and add these types of things. But you can add project sections um, that feature, you know, customize feature projects and whatnot. So that's it. I hope that that is helpful.